Hello Libra, welcome to the channel, welcome to another reading. Uh, today's video is going to be all about what your person is thinking or feeling about you or the connection, what are their energies and overall intentions. So as always, it's meant to be a general love reading. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. For Libra, Spirit, what messages do you have for Libra? This is going to be a reading uh, regarding your person. So this reading is for those of you who are already in a connection or have someone in mind. Messages for Libra when it comes to love. Let's start with what's going on in your connection at this time. Tell me, Spirit, what are the energies? What's going on for Libra in love at this time? Oh, and the Knight of Wands. Action, movement, passion, motivation. Quickly here. The Empress again. All air signs have gotten the Empress in the same position. The middle. <laughs> I don't know what is going on, but the Empress just, for the air signs specifically, I feel like um, air signs are coming into their own in February, um, recognizing the value, the worth, that they have um, able to manifest too. And I'm also picking up, it's like other people are recognizing this or noticing this. What's going on for Libra in love? Hermit, okay, so the Hermit is Virgo energy. Um, alone, solitary, being withdrawn, um, removing yourself from society from drama from situations that maybe are too much right now <laughs> the hermit kind of becomes like a recluse like they withdraw they take time apart from the noise and then they kind of like dig deep and figure out their next steps and while they're digging deep and quietly reflecting typically their intuition speaks to them that's why the hermit is holding this lantern you know, their intuition is guiding them. You could be dealing with a Virgo, a fire sign here. Let's get some more information. I feel like one of you in this connection is quiet. I don't know if communication has been cut or someone has, I don't know, hidden away somewhere. Spirit, give me some more insight into this connection for Libra. Give me some more insight to this connection. What's going on here? Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So the past, in some way, this could be a past life connection as well you coming together with a past life um partner it could be also that someone from the past is wanting to return make things right we'll see let's look a little bit more i'm using my stellar energy oracle deck here this is available now it's linked down below if you are curious in the description box if you're on mobile you can get to the description box by clicking on the title of this video right underneath the video Spirit, tell me more about the energies in this connection. Tell me more. And then we'll clarify and get some more information about what's going on here. Tell me more about the energies of this connection. Ah, looking inward. So this is like the hermit. Reflection, solitude, planning. Take some time to look inward and figure out your next steps. Someone's definitely trying to figure something out, is doing a lot of thinking and feeling, I don't know, it's like they're they're doing this on their own. So this could be one of you here. Judgment call, decision, knowledge, logic, a judgment call is being made using logic and reason. Guys, take it somewhere else. Please ignore my dogs in the background. 
So judgment call here, this is about um, making a judgment call, making a final decision of some sort, something. So that's probably why someone is taking some time to really think about this. Whatever decisions being made is serious. Bottom of the deck, I have breathe in. So this is another card about um, deep thought, reflection, healing, rest. So someone's really thinking about, and I want to find out more, like what is this decision about? Because whatever decision this is, they're taking their sweet time thinking about it. This could be also something to do with the legal field or something official, like an official decision, official building. Let me clarify for Libra. And I want to know what this Knight of Wands is about too, because the Knight of Wands is like things moving quickly, someone being very motivated to take action here. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? The world. Wow. Beginning a new cycle. Starting something new. This could also be travel. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands. Wow, justice reversed. There you are, Libra. Something feels unfair, uh, unbalanced. This could be somebody wanting to take quick action, but they're not thinking logically. Strange. Eight of Pentacles reverse. So what I'm picking up is that something here is not fair, not working out, not balanced. Temperance reverse at the bottom here. Sagittarius energy. So I feel like because something's not really working out, someone wants to make a move and they want to move fast. And I feel like they want to move away almost. This could be you or your person, Libra, because both of your energies are here. This is just what's going on in your connection. So it could be all about you, all about your person or a mix. Okay. But something's not working. Either someone's unable to put in the effort or energy needed or they don't want to. Tell me about the Empress card. Why is the Empress here? The Empress makes whatever, I mean, she whatever she touches turns into gold. She is able to manifest abundance, growth. She is the epitome of love, beauty. Tell me more about Empress. So this is a choice here, two of swords, reverse. King of Wands, more action. This is all about action here. Tell me more about the Empress. I'm also thinking of like someone uh, being attracted to this Empress. This Knight of Wands, King of Wands energy here. The Hangman reverse. So this is, yeah, this is all about taking action here. And I have the Five of Pentacles reverse at the bottom, coming in out of the cold no longer struggling, but the hangman reverse, um, I'm kind of taking this as someone that's no longer stuck, even though that's not really what the hangman reverse means. That's kind of how I'm reading him here. Tell me more about this hangman reverse. The 10 of cups reversed. Yeah. Someone's not happy. There's, there's, there's a feeling of, um, Wow, and then we have the tower at the bottom. Well, I wouldn't be happy either with the tower. Something sudden, unexpected has happened to rock the boat here. Why is justice reverse? Why is justice reverse? Yeah, eight of swords reverse. This is someone becoming unstuck. Someone feels trapped in a situation, feels stuck. And I feel like they've been working on trying to make a move and they haven't been able to, but this is the motivation. This is what they want to do. I have the 10 of cups with the Empress. There could be a parent here with children. Um, that's not for everyone though. I'm picking up that this 10 of cups reverse is more like there's a, um, someone's not completely happy here. 
uh, disappointed or heartbroken, possibly. Tell me about the hermit. What's this hermit doing here? This empress could be the one trying to make this decision. Yeah, the hermit's wondering if something's going to work out. Whoever's um, looking inward here, they're trying to figure out you know, if whatever investment they make now, if it's going to work out. Yeah, the sun. Will it bring about happiness here? Will I be successful? Am I going to get good news? Um, five of wands, interesting. Tell me more about the hermit. Um, am I going to get good news? Is it, is it going to bring me the clarity I seek? Whatever decision I make. Tell me about the hermit. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. This is about stability. And again, this feeling of being alone. Um, uh, someone being admired, being seen as the Nine of Pentacles. Um, what's this judgment call about? What's this judgment call about? Three of Pentacles reversed. Can I get one more? So something here is not working out. Someone's not working out, or maybe the there's no um, collaboration here. Maybe there's three people here. Why is judgment call here? Tell me more about judgment call. Strength. Someone needs to have the strength, the courage to make this judgment call. So it's not easy. This could have something to do with a commitment. I have the Hierophant at the bottom here. You could be dealing with a Leo, a Taurus, another Libra, a Fire sign, um, a Virgo. But more than anything, what I'm getting here is someone needing to have the strength to deal with, to make a decision because, or the courage to make a decision because maybe it'll affect someone else. So let's get some information about you, how you feel about each other, you and this person. Tell me more about how Libra and this other person are thinking or feeling about each other's spirit. Tell me more about Libra. More about Libra. The hawk. Hmm. Tell me about the person that Libra is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Libra is dealing with, Spirit. Hmm. The whale and the hawk. So let me look up the hawk really quickly just for my own benefit here because I don't want to confuse it with the eagle. I always do that. Okay, watchful, yes. Watchful, all seeing. So you're able to see the bigger picture. I'm also picking up, it's maybe you're watching this person as well. Because I feel like this person is, they're, they're admiring you or thinking of you at least. You're being given a very specific message. Though it may seem small or insignificant, it will eventually redirect your course. So I feel like um, you're seeing things differently from a different perspective now that you are, you know, in this solitary mode. <laughs> uh, I feel like you are this hermit. I feel like you're the one that's looking inward and trying to figure something out. Um, but I'm also picking up, it's like your person's mirroring you in some way. So with the whale, this is someone that has a lot of depth. So they've learned a lot throughout their life. Um, they're wise, profound, uh, stable. They've overcome many challenges and, you know, they've learned from everything that's happened. Um, so I feel like this person, uh, they're, I feel like they're older or more mature, or perhaps they've, you've known them long enough for them to actually like 
grow up and experience different things. That's why I'm thinking that they're more mature because I feel like this is someone that has already been through some stuff and has learned a few things along the way. I'm also getting like they have deep emotions for you. So that can only happen when you really know someone. Tell me more about Libra and this other person. Now, Libra, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other, but you can flip it if it resonates more. So the energies can be flipped. Tell me more about Libra's energy. Falling leaves, changes, transition, time. Time changes everything. So you're going through some sort of transition here. Tell me about the person that Libra is dealing with. Again, that feeling of time. Hold on, I dropped but time has passed is what I'm picking up here. Tell me more about Libra's person, please. Past life. Another card about the past. Memories, past life, nostalgia. You have had a connection with this person in the past. So yes, this is definitely somebody from your past or past life, like I said earlier. Because we have that card twice here, essentially. Okay, so let's get some more information about how you are thinking or feeling about each other. Tell me more about how these two are feeling about each other. What are their energies? Let's start with you, Libra. Tell me about Libra's energies. Tell me about Libra's energies. On this one, the hangman reversed again. <laughs> Tell me more about Libra's energy. Judgment. Yep. See, this is you. You're the one making some sort of judgment call here. You could even be um, wanting a second chance or a revival, or resurrection of something. Maybe you want to reconcile with someone, but this is all about a new beginning here. This is a judgment call to have a new beginning, to have a new a new cycle here, because we have the world. So I feel like you want something new. Tell me about Libra's person. Tell me about Libra's person. Eight of coin. Tell me about Libra's person, so hard at work, focused, dedicated, nine of cups. Yeah, this person's hard at work on manifesting something. Um, their wish fulfillment here. I'll move these up. So let's get some clarity here. Tell me about the hangman reverse. I already clarified this once and I got the 10 of cups reverse. So it's almost like someone is not happy where they're stuck, kind of. Tell me about the hangman reverse. Tell me if this is resonating in the comments, by the way. It won't resonate with everyone. Yeah, you're manifesting. Both of you, I feel, are mirroring each other in a way. You know, it's like you both want something and I think it's related to each other. Or it's like whatever you're wanting to do, it's going to eventually lead to each other whether you know it or not. Yeah, you've had a change of heart here. You've had a change of heart and you're manifesting a way out, a way to become unstuck to, to have a change in your life to make a judgment call here yeah because you want in the nine of cups so this is person yes this is you're mirroring each other why is judgment here what's this judgment card about now we already found out over here that we had the strength card with the three of pentacles reverse let me more if i could i'm just gonna pick it up and hold it full on the ground the lovers reverse okay gemini energy tell me more about judgment the 
the Empress reversed. Interesting. I feel like you want to make a different choice because uh, you could be an em Empress, but because of where you're at, you can't be, if that makes sense. So um, I'm also picking up whatever judgment call this is, th this might knock you off your throne a little bit. Maybe it'll be um, destabilizing temporarily. And that's probably why you need so much courage. But the lovers reverse, this could even be a judgment call about um, ending a connection or um, again, just making a different choice. Can I get one more for the judgment card? Yeah, this is about rebalancing. So um, I feel like this is just you making a, a decision that will spark a change in your life. And I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is in regards to a specific person. Like if you want me to break up with someone here, this person or a different person, or if you just need to have a change in your life in order to open another door. Because we have falling leaves here. These are transitions, changes. Tell me about the eight of coin. Let's look at your person. Tell me about the eight of coin. Yeah, this person that wants to come quick. I feel like they're the knight, knight of wands almost. Like they want to move fast here and possibly even communicate. Yeah, and it's like they're trying to figure out how to do it, what to say possibly. Tell me about the nine of cups. Oh, gosh. I'm gonna put that back. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. This deck might be a little too small. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Yeah, they're making a choice too. They're choosing a path. Um, I'm also picking up like waiting for the right time, waiting for their wish to be granted. <clears throat> you might be living long distance from this person or are far apart from this person. Yeah, Two of Cups. This person, I feel like they're, they've just been waiting for you this whole time, or they see the potential with you here. You know? You are their wish fulfillment in some way. You, you probably add something to their life. Tell me more. What is this person secretly thinking or feeling about Libra? Using my Secret Moon Oracle deck here. What are you secretly thinking or feeling about Libra? I want to see you. I'm working on myself. That's part of that why the Eight of Pentacles is here. Um, I want you at the bottom of the deck here. So they're motivated. Um, I feel like and I don't know why I'm getting this, but it's almost like um, whatever decision you make, whatever this judgment call is, I, I don't I don't know why I'm picking this up, but I don't think you realize that it's going to help or bring something to come in here or like help something come in here with the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords, this Two of Cups possibly. I don't know why I'm getting that. It's like... It's almost like I'm, I'm picking I'm picking up this energy of you being on your own, not even thinking about this person. Not really. Like your decision making is not based on them, but for some reason it involves them. That's what I'm picking up. Let me uh, get some information here about where this is headed. I'm going to pull some cards here to see where this is headed in the near future. And then I'll take this to, well, I'll pick a uh, Guidance Oracle for you. Where is this headed? Nine of Wands Reverse. Where is this headed? The Moon. Oh, you might not see this coming.
could also be the doubt, the confusion here with the Seven of Pentacles, not knowing where something is headed, literally like not knowing if something will pay off for you. Okay, so yeah, I see what I think here, and I have the Empress at the bottom of the deck again. What I'm thinking here is, um, I'm seeing a few things. Um, I don't think that there's going to be communication anytime soon here because I have the moon with the Ace of Swords reverse. So it's almost like there's something hidden or secret, something that's not being said or communicated. Pisces energy with the moon. Um, I feel like there's possibly, and that's probably where you're, I feel like that's why you're not going to see this coming or this might surprise you in a way because you are focused on something else. This nine of wands reverse, typically this means someone that's ready to give up. Um, they've been through a lot. There probably are trust issues or um, their guard needs to come down. What I'm picking up from this nine of wands reverse it's almost like um, when your guard is finally down or when you're not really paying attention to something, you know, this happens. There's either communication that comes in or information that comes in. Um, because I feel like all this time someone was looking at you. Yeah, look at this. Eight of Wands right after that. Yes. That's what I've been picking up here. They want to talk to an empress, and I feel like you're the empress. Uh, there's communication here. This could even be online. So I think that's definitely what's going to take place in the near future. Let's see. Any guidance or advice for Libra? Any messages or guidance for Libra spirit? If I could shuffle, that would be great. For Libra. What do they need to know, spirit? Have faith. Bottom of the deck, your wish will be granted. Beautiful energy. I love it. Okay, Libra, I'm gonna leave it there. I will see you all in another video. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these readings and wanna see more. Uh, leave me a comment if this resonated or check out my playlist for Libra if you wanna see more videos. Uh, thank you so much for watching once again and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.